Hey guys, what, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to try the version 3 update of games Nay emulator in which some insign features have been added. With the help of this emulator, you can play Steam games directly on the phone. And the most important thing is that after this update, now you will be able to play DirectX 10 and DirectX 11 games on non-Adreno devices like Mali GPU phones. Because in this update the latest VTK driver has been updated, due to which the compatibility has also improved a lot along with the performance. So that's why today I am going to tell you its complete setup for all types of devices so the video will be very interesting. Watch the video from start to end, and if you are new to the channel, then subscribe for such great videos. So without wasting any more time let's get started amazing videos. Alright guys, so for today's video, I am going to use my older device IQ9 in which I have already added the latest update of games native. It is also set up. First of all, we will open it. When you open it for the first time, you will see an interface like this. Here you have to log in to your Steam account, then sign in by doing a remember session and all the games in your stream account library will be shown to you here. Something like this, which you can also add here directly. But before that, click on your Steam profile. Here this is going to be your Steam profile. Here you can also adjust the settings by going to the settings. But we are not going to do any settings from here. Whatever games you have in your game library, when you add them, for example, I added Bad Guys Ad School. Its size is also around 2 gigabytes. So here you will see three dots on the top. If you click on Edit Containers, you will see the complete emulator settings here. First of all, set the resolution according to your device. Then I have selected turn in the graphics driver, but you can also select Votok here, which is specially for Mali GP devices and non-Adreno devices. Here you get to see version 2.0, the latest one of the time, and I am selecting turn driver right now because this is my Snapdragon 888 device. And for DX you can set 1.10.3 async, then scroll down here and you will see the rest of the settings here. You are going to see an interface exactly like Win Leader. Box 64 version here you get to see 0.3.6, and here you have to set the preset according to your game. You can try different settings here. So in this way you can try your custom settings according to your game. After that you can see this save icon. You can save the settings by clicking on it. For now I will not save it because my settings are already set. Alright, so I have explained everything to you about the emulator. Now let's start the game directly and see what kind of performance you are going to see here. So I have run this simulator previously as well. You can see controllers like simulators here. But this time my bad guys ad school game was run here. Earlier we used to see crashing issues here which is clearly seen here that this emulator is improving. However, I am seeing lag here because this game is a very unoptimized game. Such Unity games are very unoptimized and at the same time, guys, all the Steam games here will not work for you because there are some games where a lot of issues are seen in the startup. Also, we may not get to see compatibility in all types of devices. Still, you guys can definitely try it. Here, Gib has clearly mentioned that it is going to work properly in Malup devices. Performance has also been improved. So you guys try it and tell me brother what kind of performance you are getting. I will meet you in the next video. Until then, bye. Say you Nara.